Welcome to Sacred Heart University, also known as SHU. More than 9,000 students attend this private Catholic university in beautiful Fairfield, Connecticut. This homey, close-knit campus, minutes away from the shoreline, offers students rigorous academic experiences and emphasizes the importance of volunteerism, hands-on learning, real-world experience, and study abroad. SHU cultivates students to be forward thinkers who enact change in their own lives, professions, and in their communities. We're gonna hear stories from performers, athletes, world travelers, educators, business and technology mavens, and health professionals. The heart these students and alumni have for their university is inspiring, so get ready to be moved. Welcome to Sacred Heart University. This is the College Tour. At Sacred Heart, students leave feeling ready to tackle their career, and a big part of that is due to the hands-on style of teaching. Let's head over to the Center for Healthcare Education, a state-of-the-art facility and home to Shoes College of Nursing and College of Health Profession, to talk with Winnie, who earned her undergraduate and graduate degrees here at SHU. Winnie, please take it away. Thanks, Alex. I came to Sacred Heart for the small, close-knit environment. I went to a small high school where I was not only given the individual attention from my teachers, but the opportunity to build strong and intimate relationships with them as well. And at SHU, I got exactly that and much, much more. I knew Sacred Heart was a place where I could learn, grow, and cultivate the life skills that I would need in any professional setting. During my time here at Sacred Heart, I was able to express myself through a variety of activities, like playing the snare drum and the shoe marching band, dancing in the ensemble, being an orientation leader, and so much more. The Center of Healthcare Education was my home during my undergraduate and graduate studies. Our professors aren't just in the classroom, they're diligently conducting research to ensure that the education that they're providing to their students is ahead of the curve and a constantly progressing field. Throughout my studies, we had a medical mannequin that could mimic human emotion and any physical ailments such as coughing, wheezing, vomiting. You could take its vitals, you could provide oxygen. In the case of performing CPR, there's a computer attached to the mannequin that actually shows you the depth and timing of each chest compression. In any health science or healthcare curriculum, a hands-on portion is absolutely crucial. Imagine learning how to tape an ankle and not applying that knowledge until after you've graduated. Now you're in the workforce and you're unable to do your job. It is so, so important to provide a practical application outside of the classroom in order to put to practice what we've learned inside the classroom. SHU gives students the opportunity to work within their field on campus as well. I had the privilege of being an intern, then graduate assistant at the SHU Fit Health and Wellness Center. The athletic training lab here has everything that an athletic training student would need. My clinical rotations were diverse and I was put in a variety of settings such as public and private high schools, D1 and D2 collegiate settings, and even a concussion research center where I continue to work with all kinds of individuals and athletes. Being challenged in the classroom, applying that classroom learning to a clinical setting, and being supported by the professors every step of the way is why I'll forever be grateful for completing both of my bachelor's and master's here at Sacred Heart University. Thanks for letting me share my story. Back to you, Alex. What awesome facilities and experiences. Winnie, you are destined to do great things. And the best part is you don't have to be a student in the health professions to experience this type of hands-on learning. It's incredible to see SHU strive to engage every one of their students this way, no matter the major. Really great. Thanks again for that, Winnie. Looking around campus, you'd be surprised there aren't many of those big lecture style classrooms you may see on other campuses. That's on purpose here. At SHU, the student to faculty ratio is 14 to one. SHU professors take the extra step to help all their students succeed. My friend Tomas from the School of Communication, Media and the Arts is at the Materi Center for the Liberal Arts and can tell you a little more about the amazing professors here. Tomas, please take it away.
Thank you, Alex. So I am a rising senior here at Sacred Heart University in the communications program. I did not start my college experience at Sacred Heart, but I found myself transferring to Sacred Heart University for a more personalized college experience. Professors have an open door policy here at Sacred Heart, which allows students to drop in at certain times during the day to talk about classes, projects, films, anything that comes to mind that has to do with academics. I took full advantage of this program and found myself being mentored by several different professors in several different specialized fields. I was able to utilize all the information I accumulated from these programs and put it out into different projects. Sentinels of the Boreal was a film I produced, filmed, and directed, and it was a project that I worked on on my junior year of Sacred Heart University. This film helped me cultivate relationships with internationally recognized brands such as Canon USA and Tamron Optics. This film also helped me get relationships with internationally and nationally recognized organizations such as the National Audubon Society. Sacred Heart's SEMA program was integral for the success of this film as it not only allowed me to reach out to certain grants and foundations to accumulate money, but also allowed me to meet with these professors who had been out in the field and had that professional experience so I can get my foot in the door in the professional field once I graduated. One of my professors was a big influence in Guiding Force as he not only told me how to tell a story, but also taught me how to obtain funding, which helped move the project along. Another one of my professors showed me how to use the footage that I had accumulated over the course of the project and put it into a way where the project flowed and the film was at its best. Shu's Dean of the School met with me weekly and his willingness to help me not only invigorated me, but also inspired me to keep on going. This film helped me get a foot in the door with organizations like PBS Nature and National Geographic and also created a piece that I'm very proud of. Thank you for letting me tell my story, Alex. Now back to you. Tomas, can I get your autograph? It's so great that your professors went above and beyond to help you with your documentary. But that's normal here, Shu, right? No matter your program, the faculty gets to know every student and mentors them for a successful future as a working professional. Take care, Tomas. The SHU community is made up of students, faculty, staff, local businesses, and the university's neighbors. Here, there is an energy that just welcomes you. This campus community is known for holding doors and lending a hand. On the upper quad, I've got my friend DeAndre here to tell us a little more about this incredible community. Hey Alex, I want to talk a little bit about home and community here at Sacred Heart. Coming from Atlanta, Georgia, I never even heard of Sacred Heart, let alone think I'd be going up north to play football. So at the end of my postgraduate year, I received a scholarship offer from Sacred Heart. I wasn't sure about it at first because of how small the school was. My parents stressed to me that I wanted it to be small so I don't get lost in the shuffle. The entire coaching staff made me feel as if, even with me being so far away from home, it wouldn't be a problem because of the home atmosphere SHU brings. I was different from most kids who wanted to be close to home. I preferred to be far away. I wanted to go off and start my own legacy in a sense. My dad would always tell me, you've been here your whole life. Go start something new. So that's what I did. As soon as I stepped on campus my freshman year, the love I was getting from everybody was unmatched. Through my three years here, I built relationships with so many different people that would last a lifetime. I'm talking outside of football, because those would be my guys forever. I realized how genuine my friends were from here when my dad passed away last year. If anyone has ever lost a parent, they know how dark that moment can be. You can sense when people are actually down for you, and that feeling makes you run to a wall for them. And some of my housemates, teammates, and some of my best friends from here, who the reason I kept going hard every day, you make Shu feel like home to me. I want you guys to meet one of my best friends from here who makes Shu feel like home to me. Big Red, team mascot. Back to you, Alex. DeAndre, thank you for sharing your story and inspiring words of courage with us. You show us what type of people you find here at Sacred Heart. Great job, thanks again for that. Here at SHU, there is a club for everyone. Seriously, with over 100 clubs and organizations, it's easy to find your people at SHU and with first year experience courses to help students transition from high school to college, here's Vanessa at the Tucson Residence Hall to tell you more. Getting involved was always something I enjoyed. So when it came time to looking for the right college, I knew that I had to find a school that supported my wish. 
I can confidently say that Sacred Heart has provided me with more than that. The endless opportunities and the various choices that Sacred Heart offered me truly influenced my college experience and who I have become today. With over 100 clubs and organizations, ranging from academic to social, multicultural and service, as well as student government, volunteer programs, fraternity and sorority life, athletics, campus ministry, student activities and events, there is something for everyone. Some opportunities that I hold near and dear to my heart are student government, Habitat for Humanity spring break trips, education club with volunteer opportunities, and being a student ambassador, allowing me to share my experiences with future pioneers. Coming in as a freshman, I was nervous to get involved, but SHU made it so easy. The upperclassmen were so welcoming and the sense of community that I felt truly helped make my transition to college easier. During freshman year, SHU incorporates a course for all first year students called First Year Experience or FYE, which focuses on ensuring that all students are supported during their transition to college. At the beginning of the fall semester, there is the Just SHU It Fair, which is a chance for students to meet all the clubs and organizations offered on campus. Additionally, SHU celebrates what we call the first 50 days, which consists of plentiful programming for students to engage with one another, meet and greet with clubs, and get a feel for campus. I believe that everyone at SHU is connected, and we truly are a family. The desire to get involved is a quality that all SHU students have. Everyone from the faculty and staff to the students are there to support you and truly want you to make the most out of your college experience. With the immense support that the Sacred Heart community has given me, I have been able to grow, hold several leadership positions, and become more prepared for my future. Thanks for letting me share my story. Back to you, Alex. Thank you, Vanessa. SHU students have no problem finding their footing with so many clubs and activities to keep them involved. That was a lot of fun. Take care. One of the cool things about Sacred Heart is its proximity to New York City, only 60 miles away. That means students have great access to incredible opportunities, including Broadway. SHU has a phenomenal performing arts program, which includes theater arts, led by a Tony and Grammy nominated producer, as well as amazing choral, dance, and band programs. Here's Ryan at Sacred Heart's Community Theater to tell you more about his experience in performing arts. Thanks, Alex. I'm an exercise science major on the pre-physical therapy track, and I'm so excited to tell you all about why I love SHU, and specifically all the wonderful things I've done here thanks to the performing arts program. I chose a school because it offered exactly what I wanted in a university, the ability to study exercise science and keep my passion for the performing arts alive. Within the program, I'm a part of the Sacred Heart Dance Company, where I work closely with professional choreographers, both locally and internationally. Each semester, our program holds numerous performances that showcase all the groups within our program. Since coming to SHU, I've received endless performance opportunities outside of our regular showcases. I've had the opportunity to collaborate with different performing arts groups, dance at local dance conferences, and travel abroad to take classes with dancers from all over the world. My freshman year, I performed at a multimedia event that showcased the collaboration between dance, band, and the School of Communication Meeting the Arts. The show was then broadcasted afterwards for the community to watch. That summer, I traveled to Italy with the dance company members to take classes and perform at the World Dance Movement International Workshop. For a week, I learned different choreographic works from world-renowned choreographers, and I had the opportunity to audition for Royal Caribbean Cruise Line, where I received an offer to sign a contract and work with them as a performer. Going into my sophomore year, a few of the dances from our regular showcases were selected to be performed at a local dance conference at Perry Dance Center in New York City. Another great part about the performing arts program here at Sacred Heart is that my options are not limited to just the dance company. I have been fortunate enough to perform with a theater arts program in their musical productions of Hair and Once, where I was cast as a featured dancer and got to perform with a whole new group of individuals. Collaboration between the performing arts is very common here at Sacred Heart. While I partake in dance and theater, a lot of my friends are in more than one performing arts group, whether it be choir, band and orchestra, theater arts, or dance. Within the choir and band, there are also a variety of ensembles for the students to be a part of, ranging from gospel choir, concert choir, marching band, orchestra, and many more. 
I hope that I was able to give you just the slightest look at the wonderful opportunities I've been given thanks to the performing arts program here at Sacred Heart. Now back to you, Alex. Thank you for sharing your incredible talents with us, Ryan. That was impressive. I love the fact that the skills you have can be found in all of Shu's performers, no matter if they're dancers, musicians, or singers. I hear you don't want to miss their shows and performances throughout the school year. Take care. Shu is a Division I school and offers 33 varsity sports. But don't worry, if you're not at that level, you can get involved in one of the university's 36 club sports. SHU student athletes are known for keeping up their GPAs and dedicating thousands of community service hours. Women's ice hockey player, Sophie, who's over at the William Pitt Athletic and Convocation Center, is gonna tell you a little bit more about what it's like being a student athlete and why she loves shredding the ice as a pioneer. Sophie. Thank you, Alex. I'm so excited to be here and share my experience as a Division I athlete here at Sacred Heart University. For as long as I've been able to walk, skating has always been a passion of mine. Growing up, my dad played and got me and my older siblings involved in hockey. Being the youngest, I was always trying to keep up with my siblings. I started playing hockey when I was three years old, and from there, I immediately fell in love with the sport. I played with all boys teams until the age of 13, played on girls' travel teams, and then started a women's team at my high school. When I reached high school, I knew I wanted to take my game to the next step and play at the college level. By the end of my junior year, I committed to Sacred Heart University for my academics and athletics. On the first day of college, I immediately had 29 best friends. We spend endless hours together on and off the ice. The level from high school to college was a change at first, but all my training paid off. I learned to eat, sleep, and breathe hockey, all while balancing academics and a social life. My coach always tells me, academics is one and hockey is one A. Playing on a team with 29 other student athletes who are just as passionate about hockey as I am is what makes our team so special. We all have the same end goal, which is to win a new ha championship and get a spot in the NCAA tournament. My coach has taught us to win and lose as a team together. My experiences at Sacred Heart University have given me a great education, immediate best friends, and an athletic career that I will cherish for the rest of my life. My experiences are also going to give me countless opportunities that I can bring into the real world. Every day, this university helps me become a better student, a better athlete, and a better person. I am grateful that I am able to represent SHU as a student and as a Division I athlete. Thank you for letting me share my story. Now back to you, Alex. What passion, Sophie, that was great. There is no doubt that all of SHU's student athletes are passionate about their team and teammates. They really are a family. Thanks again for sharing that. Take care, Sophie. Here at Sacred Heart, they have the Chapel of the Holy Spirit, which is the literal and spiritual center of campus. The chapel is a place for all students to gather, regardless of their religious background and identity. SHU accommodates students of all faiths and encourages its students to learn more about the world around them. Sydney from the Isabel Farrington College of Education is at the chapel to tell us more about SHU's mission and spirit. Take it away. Hi everyone. When it comes to Sacred Heart University, there's truly an endless amount of great things that I can say. Whether it is the consistently cheerful environment, or there are numerous ways to get involved on campus. Going into my junior year undergraduate experience, I feel that I've been extremely immersed in Sacred Heart culture. I've had the opportunity to travel the world while doing community service, join a D1 collegiate level rowing team, be a part of the Black Student Union, and be accepted into the master's program here at Sacred Heart. During my freshman year, I participated in a pre-fall known as Community Connections. We engaged in community service projects around the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut, and personally it helped me to fall in love with the city, as well as learn more about critical topics such as poverty, race, and social justice. I came to Sacred Heart because I wanted to pursue a degree in elementary education, and it has exceeded my expectations, with amazing professors and advisors guiding me along my journey. Through this program, we work with a local middle school, assisting sixth through eighth graders with their homework after school. This was my first year with a mentee, and it was both a learning experience as well as a fun experience. It definitely helped me to further my confidence when working with children. This year, I am thrilled to be stepping into the role of Vice President of Sacred Heart's Black Student Union. Our Black Student Union is fairly new, 
only having been active for about two years. As one of my close friends and I are now in charge, we are both excited to be taking part of an effective change here on campus. As of last year, our school opened the Multicultural Center, and we are all ecstatic to be utilizing the space for BSU events. Coming to Sacred Heart was one of the best decisions I have ever made. The school welcomed me as well as challenged me to go to new heights. I have made lifetime friends and established meaningful relationships with the staff here. I know that while studying at Sacred Heart, I will be thoroughly prepared for whatever future path I may take. That's my story. Back to you, Alex. That was fantastic. Thank you, Sydney. And best of luck as you study to become a teacher. Your students are lucky to have you. I also just heard that annually, SHU students, faculty, and staff dedicate more than 100,000 hours of community engagement, both locally and internationally. Wow, that is amazing. Take care. Sacred Heart prides itself on its commitment to innovation. After all, they are pioneers. That applies everywhere, the classroom, the athletic field, and on stage. But the place you can find that the most is in the Idea Lab. Please meet Gabe, a computer engineering student from the Jack Welch College of Business and Technology, who is here to tell us more. Gabe? Thanks, Alex. When I was applying to college, I wanted to choose a place that felt like my home away from home, but also inspired me to grow. Sacred Heart's small class size as compared to being in a big lecture hall really pushed me to commit. SHU never stops at status quo. It teaches its students to lead and succeed. The world and its future is going to depend on young minds bringing fresh takes, solutions, and creative ideas. At Sacred Heart, we take that seriously through having the right faculty and facilities for students to be at that front. For those of us who are interested, we came together to create what today has evolved into the IDEA Lab. IDEA standing for Innovate, Design, Engineer, Apply. It's my favorite spot on campus where I'd spend most of my time working on projects, hanging with friends, and training others in digital fabrication. The lab is equipped with machines ranging from 3D printers to an electronics area with an array of sensors, a characterization lab for performing your own biology and chemistry experiments, and a textile room for embroidering, sewing, and vinyl cutting. It's staffed with experienced professionals and students like me who are there to help you to become self-sufficient in making your dreams a reality. There is truly no better feeling than seeing a project come to life and sharing that joy with the friends you made along the way. Drones are everywhere nowadays, and the engineering program here at SHU really embraces the technology as a teaching tool. Students learn how to design the hardware and tune the software to get their drones up and flying. We're lucky to have a Kwanzaa Autonomous Vehicle Research Studio, where students have the opportunity to learn how to program the drones and ground bots to complete tasks autonomously. SHU really pushes the idea of helping technology and business meld together by hosting events geared towards helping young entrepreneurs have the tools and resources that they need to drive their ideas forward and even onto shelves. Having the opportunity to work with passionate professors and mentors alongside other like-minded individuals really helped me to go out into the world. Well, that's it for me. Back to you, Alex. Thanks, Gabe, for showing us around the Idea Lab and telling us about your work. It's such a great place to find students of all majors and it is full of opportunity. Great work. Take care, Gabe. SHU encourages its students to embrace the pioneer spirit and explore the world around them. With international campuses in both Luxembourg and Ireland, Sacred Heart students can study abroad in a variety of programs. These programs range from two weeks to semester long. Sacred Heart also has several service learning opportunities where students travel abroad to work alongside their outreach partners, giving students the chance to use their classroom knowledge to make a real world impact. We're gonna hear from Nikki, a communications graduate student over at the Martiri Center for the Liberal Arts to learn more. Nikki. Today, I have the privilege of talking to you about my study abroad and global experiences. Growing up on the North Shore of Massachusetts, I always knew I wanted to attend a university that allowed me to push my limits and explore the world. Sacred Heart Study Abroad programs give students limitless opportunities to travel the world and give back, all while creating lifelong memories. 
In undergrad, I majored in communications with a minor in film and television. During my sophomore year, I was presented with the opportunity to take a two-week course in one of our international campuses located in Dingle, Ireland. This program was the gateway to my study abroad experience that taught me new methods within the film industry and international cultures I would soon learn to love. The second we landed in Dingle, Ireland, I knew it was going to be the trip of a lifetime. During these next two weeks, I was able to indulge myself into the culture of Dingle and the Irish heritage. From endless cliff walks along the greens of the countryside and listening to live music in the pub, even to exploring world famous movie sets like Star Wars Last Jedi and traveling to beautiful cities like Killarney, the memories I made were truly life changing. They were so life changing, I decided to go back for a second time the winter of my junior year. SHU's other international campus in Luxembourg is another global hub. I was once again allowed to take a two-week intensive course in one of the business capitals of the world. Since Luxembourg is such a unique and commutable location, I was able to see and create the most during my time on our campus. From a weekend trip in Paris to visiting the historic city of Trier in Germany, the memories I made in Luxembourg gave me such a surreal experience in a short amount of time on our campus. Many of my other peers got to travel to countries like England, Italy, China, and Australia due to the partnerships our university has with programs around the world. I want to leave you with this one piece of advice, study abroad. Five years ago, when I walked onto this campus for the first time, I did not realize that my opportunities went beyond the Fairfield campus. Today, I have been to five different countries, created lifelong friends and memories, all while pursuing an educational opportunity I will carry with me forever. So, during your time at Sacred Heart, travel to new places, learn new cultures, but most importantly, wherever you go, go with your heart. Back to you, Alex. Wow, so many amazing experiences. With two global campuses, you have the opportunity to travel, volunteer, be exposed to new ways of life, and make an impact on the world. That is absolutely awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Take care, Nikki. Okay, so we've seen the campus and heard about classes, athletics, service, but what about after graduation? Where will SHU take you? The university prepares students for post-college life with on-campus job fairs, internship opportunities, and networking events with alumni. SHU Center for Career and Professional Development helps students with resume building, interview coaching, and job and internship placement. Let's head over to West Campus to hear from Mary, an alumna of the Jack Welch College of Business and Technology who currently works at Reebok in Boston. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everyone. It feels amazing to be back here on campus. It feels like just yesterday I was a student. And I know that if I had to do this all over again, I would definitely choose Sacred Heart for my college experience. I remember touring Sacred Heart as a high school senior and instantly getting an amazing feeling. Something about the campus, the student ambassadors, all the academic and extracurricular opportunities, it all just made me feel instantly at home and that shoe was really the college for me. I made my best friends, I got to study abroad, and I was involved in countless campus clubs and activities. In the five years since graduating, Sacred Heart has remained a part of my life. Every year, my friends and I look forward to homecoming weekend, and we even went on an alumni trip to Dingle, Ireland in summer 2019. Professors keep in touch with students over the years, and the skills I learned under their guidance really helped me get where I am today as a footwear product manager at Reebok headquarters in Boston. I love my job, and I've been able to grow as a professional and individual there over the past five years. SHU truly cares about student success post-graduation. There's a spirit of opportunity and a go-getter attitude throughout the university that you can just feel. Professors and staff encouraged us to go after any opportunity we could, whether it's on campus, an internship, or even just a chat with a connection they may have. I remember giving a presentation at my internship and they were quite impressed with how I presented, but that was something we did in class all the time. In the business school, internships are part of the curriculum and there are plenty of networking events, industry speakers, and career prep opportunities available. All of these resources plus classes shaped me into a well-rounded graduate who was ready to join the workforce. SHU's Career Center is open to us for life, even years after graduation, if we ever needed any support or assistance. I know that if I had to contact the Career Center, they would help me with whatever I need, whether that was resume help, career advice, job listings, contacts, or more. My experiences at SHU were so diverse, rewarding, challenging, and fun, which all translated into my career. At work, I'm open to any new projects or opportunities that come my way. 
I look for solutions rather than focusing on problems, and I can work with anyone. I thank Shu so much for being such an integral part of my journey, and I will always be a pioneer. Back to you, Alex. Thank you, Mary. That was absolutely fantastic. Now, how lucky was Mary to attend SHU, get such great exposure to her industry, and get an awesome job? With over 49,000 alumni since 1963 and pioneers working all over the world, it's easy to connect with your fellow pioneers no matter where you are or where you want to go. All SHU students have the ability to go on and do great things. Thanks again for that, Mary. Take care. Okay, everyone, how awesome is Sacred Heart University? I wanna thank all the amazing students and alumni for giving their time today so you can learn more about what SHU is all about. What a great university dedicated to serving its students. Now, I wanna let you know that I had the pleasure to spend some time with Sacred Heart's president this week on campus. I asked him a question and we want to share his answer with all of you. So stay tuned during the credits to watch that. Now it's up to you all to go learn more about Sacred Heart University for yourself and hopefully we'll see you on campus real soon. Cheers everyone. What a beautiful campus you have here. Thank you for having the college tour. Love this diner named after you. Question, how would you describe the culture of Sacred Heart University? I would describe the culture here as inclusive, friendly, generous, kind. Um, students themselves would describe it as a home away from home and would say it's their family. They're very much sensitive to the differences of culture, of ethnicity, and they're very inclusive and celebrate those things. And so for that, it's a great learning experience as they transition from high school into adulthood and position. Our whole crew have felt that the entire time on campus. Really appreciate you having us. You're welcome. Thank you.